Hi there, it's Sandy from Spiral Crafts and Workshops. Just a quick reminder before we start with the making the penguin to, uh, to like the YouTube channel if you want to see more videos when they get posted because they get posted before they get onto Facebook. And also if you like this video then, then give us a thumbs up at the bottom. Uh, and don't forget if you do make a penguin pop us one a photo of it on our Facebook page as well. So details are below about all the, the instructions, the gadgets you're going to need today. You need your surface, your cutter, something to keep your clay in and all your clay and a grist with paper. Uh, you need black clay, white clay and orange clay obviously to make the penguin. So I'm just going to put these away under here just for the moment uh, to keep them because they're dry, they're air drying clay so it dries out as you're making. So I'm going to take our black today and the first thing I'm going to do is just pinch off tiny little bit of clay and put that to one side as well. That's probably going to be too much but that doesn't matter. No, hello, that's dropped off. Let's put that back on the side. Put that back on there. That's it. Right, so take your black, roll it into a ball and then into a little bit of a sausage. Just makes it easier to see what you're doing. Then you want to cut it into two thirds and a third which is about there what I normally do, as you know, is I put a line in the middle and then just go off to one side and pop a line in and that's where I want to tear it, just there. So I put the little piece to one side. This big piece is going to be the penguin's body, so we roll it into a ball, like that. And then you don't want to put your finger in the middle, one of these offside ones here. So put it on the offside and roll backwards and forwards sort of pushing that way until you get that sort of a shape. You want a nice round belly and then a nice neck for the top. Then at the back, if you just pull it a little bit like that and make a little bit of a tail sticking out like that. Press it down so it's nice and smooth and you've got this tail at the back. And pop him on your clay, press very gently so he's got a flat bottom so he stands up properly. So there you can see he's nice and flat on the bottom now and he's ready to go. So take your other piece of clay, roll it into a ball, into a sausage. Then this is going to go just into half. So right in the middle of your sausage, press down, give it a pull, one bit to one side. This bit in my hands, if you roll it into a ball, put it on the palms and just roll. Give it a, an extra shape if it's not quite completely round. And then that ball, take your body, there's his tail, pop that on there but don't squeeze with these fingers because you'll misshape the body. So there we go, we've got our head on, I'll pop that there and take the other piece. These are going to be his wings so you want these as close to the same size as you can get so very carefully, you see right in the middle just there and to take those apart and roll them up, make sure they're, they're the, right, the right size, same, just about here. Yeah. So what you want to do is roll each one into a short sausage, not too long, because there, there is arms, so you can check against the body to see whether they look like they're about right. So about that length. But don't forget sometimes with the clay it springs back and shrinks a little when you put it to one side. So roll the two first and make sure they're okay. That's it. So take one of your, your sausages, pop it in your fingers and just roll carefully and you'll make a nice point like that. And then at the other end, you point up this end and the other end you want to squeeze just to flatten it a little bit like that. And do the same with your other one. So just roll it to make a point. And the other end, you just want to flatten it slightly. Right, taking your main body, there's your tail. So you want your tail pointing away from you, like that. So that's pointing away from you. Put your arm in to the junction right between the head and the body. So right in like that, careful, because it will stick as soon as you touch. And then just let the arm lie down across the rest of the body. Don't squeeze the main body, don't forget. Take your other arm, do the same thing, put the flat bit right into the neck there and then just press it down onto the body so that it sticks. And then you've got the pointy bits pointing down. There's the basis of your penguin. So your arms go 
either side and your tail goes at the back. There you go. So now we're going to put his little white belly on. Um, this is probably a little bit too much white, but it doesn't matter. We'll just use as much as we need, because when you flatten it, it actually goes quite large. So you need less than you think you need. So I'm just going to pinch off, put that over there, a little bit of white clay, roll it into a ball. Then I'm just going to go once like that to make a, a small sausage shape. And then I'm going to press it out. Take that bit off my finger. I'm going to press that out. So I've got a nice oval shape like that. I'm going to, you can actually press this out on the grease proof paper if you want, um, in case it sticks, but that's fine, that's all worked okay. So I've got some marks on the band this side, so I'd rather use this side I think because it looks a bit cleaner. Uh, although I've got a little spot there, so I think I might just roll it up again because I wasn't happy with that. Same thing again into a ball, once backwards and forwards, and then press it out. So it wants to be... There we go, that's nice on that side. Nice and round, nice and flat. And it wants to be about the length of your, your tummy. So, right, nice, no hard corners or anything. And then you can put it just underneath his chin and then just bring it down. I've still got some black bits on it now, but I don't care. Because nothing's perfect. There we go. So that's his, his white belly. And then we're going to do him a couple of eyes. Now, this is really, really small pieces because when you flatten them, they, they go larger. So I would actually have them about that size. These might be too big, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. So make them into a ball and flatten them a little bit. They need to be the same sort of size again. And then once you've got them, tiny as they are, yeah, that looks okay. So I'm going to put one there. Oh, they do look quite large. <laughs> More of an owl, I don't know about a penguin. It's part of the fun of making these things. And one on the other side at the front. So there you can see we've now got a little bit of a zombie penguin. Right, so finished with the white. So what we're going to do is pop that back under there. It's starting to come to life now. Let me grab the orange. Now these are for the feet and for his beak. So let's take, I'll take a piece off for his beak, keep that to one side and then, actually I don't need that much, I think I'll take a little bit, a little bit more. That's it, so I've got bigger feet then. So take your, your it's about a gram again, and take your orange and cut that in half like that. Put it back together again. Now, the quick way of doing feet is have a nice ball like that, then go down through the feet very gently, but try and make the try not to deform the ball. And then when you pull them apart like that, don't deform the ball and just press the spare clay in so you've got a nice neat edge. Okay, then what you want to do is hold it on either side so you've got the curve there and the flat bit there and just press there and pinch there and you end up with that kind of a shape and then take your tool and on the top just do three lines into the clay like that. So you've got this flat bit at the back and you've got the curve at the front. So again, you hold it so you've got the curve there, the flat bit there, and just squeeze slightly and then pinch that together. So I'm actually pinching together there and flattening it. And then 
three vertical lines like that. And these then go underneath here like that. And he's got two big fat feet. Look at that. So it might need squeezing up a little bit. So he sits a bit better. Squeeze his feet down so he sits up. Just his posture. So there he is. He's getting there now. At least he can walk around and wave his, his, uh, his wings. So I need a tiny little bit of clay for his, uh, his beak. Roll it into a ball. And then, same again. Don't go in the middle, go off to one side, roll up one side and you'll end up with a carrot shape. So grab your carrot shape, flatten the bottom just a little bit, you can either on the a table or with your finger and then pop it just underneath your penguin's eyes like that. And then the final stage, you go back to your little bit of black that you took off earlier roll it into a thin, thin sausage. It's hard to use that end because it needs tiny little pieces of black. So I've got one there and they do, as much as you can, need to be the same size because otherwise it, it makes his face look a bit funny. A bit uneven. And it can be a bit tricky to work with. Just going to put the orange back as well. Oops, won't stick. There we go. So I've got these tiny, tiny little pieces of black. I think um, that one's slightly bigger, so I think I might just trim it a little bit if I can. It's been awkward. You can see how tricky it is working with these little pieces. Sometimes rolling it into a sausage works best because it just, just gives you the opportunity to separate a little bit off. There we go, so tiny, tiny little pieces. Take your penguin, pop them on to his eyes, and suddenly it comes to life. Right in the middle, and there he is. One little penguin all ready to go. Have fun with him.